Hello everyone, let's start with question number 5 of exercise 2.4. So in this it is given that x minus under root 5 is a factor of cubic polynomial. Find all the zeros of the polynomial. So here you can see that the polynomial is cubic type. If it is a cubic type then it must have 3 zeros. So one zero is given to us and other two we need to find. So first of all what we need to do is we need to perform division long division method. So it will be x cube minus 3 under root 5 x square plus 13 x minus 3 under root 5 divided by x minus under root 5. So now what we need to do is we need to make x as x cube. So for that we need to multiply the term with x square. So it will be x cube minus under root 5 x square. Now changing signs we get minus x cube minus x cube and here we get positive sign. So minus 3 under root 5 plus under root 5 will be minus 2 under root 5 x square plus 13 x minus 3 under root 5. Now we need to change x as minus 2 under root 5 x square. So we need to times it with minus 2 under root 5 x. So it will be minus 2 under root 5 x square and the other term will be minus 2 under root 5 x into under root 5. So it will be 10, positive 10 x. Now we need to again change the sign. So it will be 2 under root 5 x square plus 2 under root 5 x square will be 0 here and positive becomes negative here. So 13 x minus 10 x equal 3x minus 3 under root 5. Now what we need to do is we need to change x as 3, 3x. So we need to multiply the term with 3. So it will be 3x minus 3 under root 5. Now changing signs 0 here, 0 here. So we get the factor as x square minus 2 under root 5x plus 3. Now we need to find the factors for quotient that is x square minus 2 under root 5x plus 3. So for that, for that we need to use the middle term splitting again. Now but in this case you can see that we need to find the factors for 3. So it is 3 into 1 we know. Now 3 into 1 we can we cannot split this as 2 under root 5x. So therefore we need to use another method like we need to use under root method here. So it can be written as under root 5 minus under root 2 and under root 5 plus under root 2. So we know that a minus b and a plus b is a square minus b square. So under root 5 square minus under root 2 square. So we get 3 here. Now we need to use this these two factors to split the middle term here now. So it can be written as x square minus in bracket under root 5 plus under root 2 x and again plus under root 5 minus under root 2 x in bra bracket close. Now 3 can be replaced with these two factors. So it can be written as under root 5 minus under root 2 under root 5 plus under root 2. Now we need to use the factorization method here. So first of all I will bring minus sign to this as well as to the second term. So it will be x square minus under root 5 plus under root 2x minus under root 5 minus under root 2x plus under root 5 minus under root 2 and under root 5 plus under root now again we need to take common from the first two terms and the last two terms. So the first two terms is x. We can take x common from the first two terms. So it will be x only x minus under root 5 minus under root 2. Expanding the brackets we get minus under root 2 here. So from the last two terms we can get under root 5 minus under root 2. And we are left with x minus under root 5 we have under root 5 plus under root 2 but here we have minus sign common so it will be x 
minus 5 under root 5 minus under root 2. So we have two different terms here now that is x minus under root 5 minus under root 2 and another will be x minus under root 5 plus under root 2. Why plus? Because this minus will go inside and it will make positive under root 2. So these are my two factors. From the first one we get under root 2 plus under root 5. This is my second 0. Third 0 will be x equal under root 5 minus under root 2. So this is my second 0 and the third one was under root 5 from quotient itself. So these are my three zeros for question number 5. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.